What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition. I do not know. I really do not know. You know what? We're probably going to be doing twice the episodes and, you know, weekend stuff and all that crud. Anywho, in our last episode, yes, we have defeated Gym Leader Brock for the 14th badge, yes. And on top of that, we gave Lucky a bit of a redemption story because, well, you know, it's been a while since we used Lucky. We kept on replacing that Pokemon with either Lapras or, you know, the current po the current Pokemon I have. So, it's only fitting that he defeats Brock, the Rock-type gym leader. So now, here we are going into Route 3, going into Mount Moon because we got some stuff. We got some business to take care of right here. And, as always, yes, we're going to be going fast right here because, well... Yeah, we kind of need uh, we kind of need to continue on our adventure right here. These episodes drag on just a tad bit, so here we go, taking on Jimmy and looking at okay, and coming out with an Arbok. Let's go with Serpentera right here. Earthquake attack for the win, and just like that, blown away. Oh my god! Oh my god! There we go. And let's see, let's go ahead and switch out this Pokemon right here. Let's see what let's see what can actually happen. Uh, let's go with Hera right here. Anywho, so these episodes, you know, these last few episodes of me, you know, doing these kinds of stuff has been has been pretty good, guys. I've been actually having fun finishing off these walkthroughs and all that stuff, redoing them. It's always nice to redo these kinds of walkthroughs. It brings me back to the childhood that, you know, I once had and all that crud. Nostalgia, all the great comments and all that good, good stuff, guys. I really do appreciate it. And for those who are barely coming in, wondering, again, what what's the next walkthrough? That, of course, is Pokemon Emerald, and we're going to be doing things a little differently with a new team. And, well, some of you guys may be asking, okay, what's the reason behind, you know, me do, redoing these walkthroughs? Well, it started at the beginning of the year with a, <laughs> with a, with a, uh, what was it called? Uh, a studio that I once had. And some new improvements onto the graphics and all that stuff. So, what's going to happen is we're going to be going into Mount Cave, and uh, well, I haven't seen you in quite some time. It's been a while, Draven. Since I lost you, I thought I thought about what I was lacking with my Pokemon, and we came up with an answer. Draven, now we'll show you. His voice kind of matured a little bit. I don't know. So here it is guys, another battle against Silver. He does have six Pokemon and he's gonna be coming out with Sneasel. Look at this, he's powered up his Pokemon, okay. Hey, guess what? Flamethrower attack for the win. So another Pokemon that I would love to have on my team at some point in time was Sneasel. Very interesting Pokemon, uh, very fast. Apparently it was broken in the card game and all that crud, correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of thought against it just because of, uh, what was it called, uh, because, well, Hera was more of my Pokemon right here, and, uh, well, I never really got this until I finally finished it off, but, you start learning about, about, you know, what's his face, uh, Silver just a little bit more when it comes to his Golbat, if you guys don't know, Golbat evolves to Crobat through happiness. Once you start seeing Crobat on the team, you start seeing a change in this guy's, you know, attitude. He won't push you, he won't call you names, won't call you weak or anything like that. It's just a different demeanor from this guy. And it goes a little bit further going into Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And, you know, it's one of the, It's kind of like the most tragic story right here in Pokemon, mainly because, well... <laughs> eventually it is revealed that Homeboy right here was... Homeboy right here was what you might call it. Uh, yeah, was uh, what you might call it. It's Giovanni's uh, G Giovanni's kid. So yeah, that's that's something that you, that kind of hits at you right there. Anywho, let's go with Typhlosion right here. Okay, we're gonna be defeating this guy pretty good right here. So let's go with Torpedo. And uh, well, let's see, let's see. I'm trying my best to just like you know, trying my best to actually. Hey, to pick out the Pokemon, so let's go with Surf right now. Anywho, now, some of you guys have asked me too, okay, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. 
am I going to go back to it? Am I going to redo it? Am I going to continue on with it? I left a uh, community page post, if that makes any sense. Left a community page post for all of you guys to, to see. And the majority of you guys have picked for me to actually to actually redo the Pokemon Heart Gold yet again. And I, I couldn't be... I couldn't agree more because you guys don't remember, I started Pokemon Heart Gold back when the pandemic was still going on. When I had a nice buttload of walkthroughs that I came out with. And it's starting to look kind of like my Draven XC711 days where I lasted four years with both Pokemon Soul Silver and Platinum. Yeah, four years, guys. And, well, if I could do, if I could play this game, if I could beat this game right here, Pokemon Crystal, in a short amount of time with the, you know, with the limited time I have, then bam, it's gonna, it's gonna definitely work right here. It could definitely work for Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold, so keep an eye out for that. There are games that I really, really want to redo and play again, guys, and, uh, you know, I'm just chomping at the bit to do it right here. And just like that, Alakazam has been defeated. And I am throwing out that peace sign. I am superior to you, Silver. Eat it! I thought I raised my Pokemon right. Or the best way I could. But still, it wasn't enough. It wasn't. Dot dot dot. You won, fair and square. I admit it. But this isn't, uh, this isn't the end. I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer ever. Because these guys are behind me. Listen, Draven. One of these days, I'm going to prove how good I am by beating you. Wow, he hasn't insulted me or anything. Okay, so here we are in Mount Moon, guys. It has been shortened, and there is a new area to this place. As you guys can see, we are in, let's see, what is it called? The Mount Moon Square. Please do not litter. And there is a little event that goes on around here. And it usually happens right in about now, as you can see. Clefairies are running around at night and doing some kind of like ritual right here. Look at that. And they look at me, they're like, a oh, Clefairy. They are running away. So let's see what this is all about. If you break this, bam. You will find yourself a moonstone right there. So there you go, guys. That's one event that you can actually check out at night. Remember, at night. And, well, if you go in here, this is a pharmacy, so just be aware of that. That will actually happen in the daytime. And there is an exit right here. And, bam. So, if you guys are wondering what's in the Mount, in Mount Moon, it's really nothing. Like, it's very, very short. Very, very short. And look at that, Clefairy. Okay, I'm going to capture this guy. All right, Ultra Ball for the win. Look at that, captured it. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for... Mount Moon and all that stuff, and you're, you're gonna f definitely find a bunch of Clefairies right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we are in Route 4. You're gonna be finding some trainers. And we're gonna be battling them. Look at that. Flamethrower for the win. Look at that. That's right. So easy. Okay, Stream Deck, you are being lame. Okay, is there a hidden item right here? There always is a hidden item. I don't know. What's the point of this? Okay, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and battle. Let's go ahead and battle what's left right here, and then we're gonna be going. We're gonna go. We're gonna be going back to Pewter City. That way we can uh, continue on our adventure to Pallet Town. And well, let's go right ahead and speed this up. Let's go with a swift attack. There we go. Pidgeot, fly attack, fly attack for the win. And there we go. Okay, so it's another victory for us. Let's go right ahead and continue on with this. Bam. And she's got herself a fur right here. Coming out with a rapid dash. Let's go with torpedo. Surf attack for the win. And just like that, we grow levels. Isn't that fantastic, guys? Growing levels now. Again, bam, get ourselves an H HP up. So here's something that really, really just eats at me, and that is this whole location right here, except for Jack. Seriously, man, come on. Uh, it's this location right here. This used to be the Cerulean Cave. As many of you guys already know, Cerulean Cave was how was housing some pretty strong Pokemon in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Had Mewtwo. 
doesn't have it right here in Generation 2, but then when you guys get the chance to play the the remakes, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, you'll see that everything has been reinstated, including this place right here. And yeah, Mewtwo will appear into this location. As of right now, that's probably not the case. So let's go back to Pewter City. We're gonna heal up and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, we're back, baby. So let's go right ahead and travel down to to Viridian and Pewter or in Pallet Town. As you guys can see, this used to be this used to be uh, what was it called uh, the Viridian Forest, but apparently it got chopped down. Look at that. Again, stripped to the bone. They felt a little lazy. And here we have a poison cure berry. That's always nice. Yeah, everything has been stripped to the bone, guys. It is it is ridiculous on what like you know what was left behind and all that stuff. And here we found ourselves a dire hit. A nice move right there for critical hits. And well, what used to be the entrance of the Viridian Force is now gone. And this guy's like, why don't girls like bug Pokemon? Because they're icky. All right, let's battle this kid. He's got a pretty good Ariados, and bam, level 54. There we go. All righty. So, let's continue on. Oh, we don't want to leave this guy. So the bug catchers have been left behind. Like, seriously, they don't have a place to hang out for their little conventions and stuff. I feel bad for them. I really do. All right, let's go with Hera. Level 52, flamethrower for the win, and bam. Look at that. You got whipped, homeboy. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, Route 2, Viridian City, okay. And then here we are in Viridian City. Welcome to Viridian City, the gateway to the Indigo Plateau. Talk to this guy, he's like, hey kid, I just had a double shot of my espresso and I am wired. I need to talk to someone, so you'll have to do. I might not look like much, but I was an expert at catching Pokemon. Do you believe me? Yes, he taught me quite a few times. Good, good, yes, that was something out of the ordinary, let me tell you. Okay, and... Yes, we can cut that. That's a shortcut. And yes, the Viridian Four or the Viridian City Gym has a new gym leader. You guys are gonna be surprised at who it is. This gym didn't have a leader until recently. A young man from Pallet became the leader, but he's often away. And well, look at that. There's nobody here, and there's nobody there. Gym leader Draven strikes again. Okay, so enough of that. We're going to be going into something a little different right here, guys. So, in Viridian Forest, in, or in the Viridian, uh, Viridian City, they added a new location right here called the Trainer House. This is uh, where they, they actually have Pokemon battles every single day. And you'll get a chance to battle pretty much one person at a time, or just one the same person every single time. So what's going to happen right here is... You know what? I'm going to take that experience share, and I'm going to give it to to Hera so I can get a few levels right here. And then we're gonna definitely battle this guy right here. Definitely battle somebody right here. But let's see, charcoal. Take away that, and let's go right ahead and give that quick claw to Serpentera because it's hey, it's actually been working pretty well for it as of lately. And let's see, let's go right ahead and put let's put Hera right up top. And there we go. Here we have this lady. Hi, welcome to the training hall. You may battle a trainer once per day. Kel is your opponent for today. Yes, let's go right ahead and battle this guy. Now the, the messed up part about this is that Cal is your only opponent and you can battle him every single day. I traveled out here so I could be battle you. And he kind of looks like you just a little bit. Look, just look. In fact, I think Cal is the main character of this whole thing. I could be wrong. And here he comes out with a Meganium. Oh, damn. So, they're all at level 50. They're all the starter, the starting Pokemon evolution. So, you'll be... You have to be very prepared for all of that right there. And, bam. Easy. That was easy. Look at that. Meganium doesn't feel a thing. Alrighty, who's next? Uh, we got boosted. Oh, wow. I forgot about the traded portion part right here. And he's going to be coming out with a Typhlosion. So let's go right ahead and go with uh, Torpedo. Let's get it, Torpedo. Bring it. Alrighty. 
Alrighty. Let's get it. Surf attack for the win. And... Just like that. Oh yes, just like that, he has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So, again, you can battle these guys every single day, or this guy every single day. It just, uh, it kind of sucks because it's just the same guy every single day, level 50. And look at that, Hera grows to level 53. And, well, this guy's about to come out with a Feraligator, so I do have the guy for this job. Let's go with Fluffbolt. And, bam. Alrighty, bring it. Here we go, Thunder Punch for the win. And this for Alligator has been defe defeated. Look at that. Okay, so... I think that's pretty much it. Cal has been defeated and he's like, I lost. Darn. Yeah, and we got a, we got a nice amount of uh, money from that too. So, that was that. Let us move on to the next big thing right here. Let's see. So, let's go right ahead and uh, head on over to the next route right here. Viridian City, the Eternally Green Paradise. If you go down right here, you will go to Route 22. And you would think that you would be going to the Pokemon League, kind of like in Generation 1. And, yeah, we're going to skip through this guy. Level 3 and all. But... Here we go, this is the road to the Pokemon League, Victory Road Entrance. If you guys can see, bam. And unfortunately right now, this way leads to Mount Silver, you'll see Scary Strong Pokemon out there. But this is the gateway to Victory Road, which of course leads to the Pokemon League. And yes, we will be back there for a little bit because, well, there's going to be quite a few training. There's going to be a lot of training going into uh, the red battle right here. So, let's go back to Vermilion, or Viridian City, and, well, there we go. So now, let's go right ahead, let's go right ahead and go down to Route 1, where, where we will be finding some Pokemon trainers, trees, all that stuff, and, wow, it sounds pretty updated and all that stuff, too. So, let's go right ahead and battle these guys. Flamethrower, look at that, okay. And he's coming out, or she, yeah, he's coming out with an Electabuzz. I'm pretty sure this guy has some pretty rare Pokemon right here. And he's coming out with the Magmar. Let's go with Torpedo, Surf, and that is how you do it. Alrighty, Danny, you have been defeated, again. Okay, so let's see. I think that was the only trainer. I could be skipping another one. Nope, there's another one. And just listen to the music. It's just like a... <laughs> the updated version is pretty cool. Alright, let's battle. Here we go. Flamethrower. There we go. And he's coming out with a... She's coming out with a Starmie. So let's go straight for Chico. Hey, Chico. There we go. Razor Leaf for the win. And there we go. Anywho. Going back down. Here we are, finally. Pallet Town. Where it all began. And look at this, it's Blue House and the Legendary Red right here. Let's go right ahead and take a look at something right here. So, here's Mama, and she's like, Hi! Red's been away for a long time. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say no word is proof that he's doing fine, but I do worry about him. Oh, okay. Check out the old room right here, look at this. Oh, wow. Still the same, and the N64, <laughs> wow, oh my god, this brings back memories, and look at this, it hasn't been used in a long time, wow, okay, so, let's go right ahead and see what, uh, let's go right ahead and see what a Blue's house is all about right here, and here's his sister, Daisy, hi, my kid brother is the gym leader in the Viridian City, but he goes out of, uh, he goes out of town often, it causes problems for the trainers. Yeah, it's causing problems for me. So, let's go right ahead and see what Professor Oak is doing right here. Let's go right ahead and look at this. It's like we never left. Holy crud. Professor Oak's like, ah, Draven, it's good to see you. Come all, all those way to Kanto. What do you think about the trainers uh, out here? Pretty tough, huh? 
Ah, you're collecting the uh, Kanto Gym Badges. I imagine that it's hard, but the experience is sure to help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep trying very, very hard. Okay, and how's my Pokedex going along? And, well, I think... Oh, wow. 76 Pokemon. Yeah, I've been doing some, uh, some training myself, guys. Not really, but... I've been doing some stuff. Anywho, we're gonna pause our game right here, guys, because in the next episode, we're gonna be having two gym battles right here. We're gonna be having some pretty darn good ones. And then it's going to lead us to the finale, which is we're gonna be going up against two legendary Pokemon and a legendary Pokemon trainer. Cannot wait, guys. So, thank you guys again for the support. Thank you guys again for, you know, uh, watching this walkthrough and all the good comments, good or bad, still giving me views. In the next episode, we're going to have two gym battles. See you guys.